A new charge has been filed against actor Alec Baldwin in connection with the shooting on the set of the movie Rust. A grand jury in New Mexico indicted him on a charge of involuntary manslaughter today. This is related to the deadly shooting of cinematographer Hela Helena Hutchins more than two years ago. New Mexico's prosecutors dropped those initial charges against the actor last April, saying they had new evidence and needed more time to investigate. Baldwin's lawyers released a statement saying simply, quote, we look forward to our day in court. Let's get right to Jessica Levinson for analysis. She is a CBS News legal contributor and a professor at Loyola Law School. Jessica, thanks for being with us. So what does this indictment tell you about this case? Well, it tells us that the prosecution thinks there's enough to move forward, again, on involuntary manslaughter. I think it's important for everybody to know that this is not a case where anybody thinks Alec Baldwin had the intent to kill somebody. This is about whether or not he had reckless disregard, whether he willfully disregarded all of the safety red flags here. And one of the things that he has said is, I never fired the gun. A forensics report recently again said, no, it had to be him. And I think that's part of why we see these charges coming again. Well, I think a lot of people are going to be surprised to hear that we are back in this place, because I remember when the prosecutors decided that they were going to drop the charges, Baldwin and their team sort of seemed like they thought that this was over for them. Why are we seeing these new charges now, nearly a year later? I think partly because of why the original charges fell apart. And they fell apart because there were problems with the prosecution. The special prosecutor was also serving as a member of the state legislature at the same time. That was improper. And he was charged, Alec Baldwin was charged under a law that wasn't on the books at the time. I think they've largely cleaned up all of those issues. So we have a different prosecutor. We have a law that absolutely was on the books at the time, as far as all reporting indicates. And we have that additional evidence of the forensics report saying he was, in fact, the one to fire the gun and that it was fired. It didn't just accidentally discharge. So I think it was those three things together that mean we're talking about this case again. Jessica, what is at stake for Alec Baldwin in this case? Well, up to 18 months in prison. I mean, that is the most straightforward answer here. And obviously, it's also his reputation. He has said that he didn't fire the gun. Um, he has said that it's been hard for him to get work. So it's his legacy. It's his reputation. But in a very concrete way, it's also potentially his freedom. All right. Well, we appreciate you helping to make sense of all this. Jessica Levinson, thanks. Thanks.